What's up guys? Matt, Legacy 4x4. Welcome to the farm. This time we're going to build a little hay hauling trailer to utilize the ATV's hauling capacity moving hay from the front of the house, five acres back to the barn. Alright guys, so let's talk through the design and talk through everything I did so far to try and prepare for building this trailer. So I ended up using about 40 feet of 2x2 two two rectangular tubing to make the base and structure for this trailer. It's going to have a wood deck in it, I already accounted for those measurements. I also already pre-cut all the metal, that way you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this design in person rather than showing you on a computer or on a sketch. So here's the design that we have going on so far. Super simple trailer design. Like I said, this is a farm only trailer. This will never see the road, never see high rates of speed. So with that being said, I'm not too particularly worried about some of the other factors that could affect this, like not having a suspension or running caster tires for the wheels on this, but we'll get to that when we get there. Let's talk through the tongue first. All right, so the tongue of this trailer is a super simple triangulated design. We have an upper rail where we're gonna have wood lay in between on the horizontal slats, and then we have a triangulated tongue with a one and seven eighth inch ball to fit the ATV. Super simple, nothing really to talk about there. Moving on to a bird's eye view of the trailer. As you can see, we have three of those perpendicular rungs to add support to the wood inlays. And then we have four 300 pound rated 10 inch casters we got from Harbor Freight. The biggest concern for these wheels is that they are caster wheels. They are rated for 300 pounds a piece, so we should get to about 1200 pounds total rating if we wanna talk technicalities but at the same time, you never know how those are gonna act. I only opted to go to those casters instead of a full 15 inch wheel and building my own axles and spindles because those were the only thing available at my local Harbor Freight. But with that being said, I'm not particularly unhappy with those since I can just weld those directly to the frame and not have to worry about mounting or creating axles or creating spindles to try and make some 15 inch tires fit. So with that being said, not too unhappy with that. We'll see how they perform over time. One last thing I should probably note is obviously this is the bottom of the trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some actual measurements. Everything here is just kind of laid in place the way I thought about it in my mind. So I'm gonna take some actual measurements, make sure everything's nice and even, get everything welded in, and then we can move to making the wood inlays. I made some small changes to the design, as you can see with that little bit of chopping on the tongue area. But with that being said, I'm happy with how it looked. We're gonna go ahead and tack everything in place and then fully weld it once we're happy with it. Okay guys, there's the trailer. There's how it sits right side up. Nothing really to it. Just went ahead and fully welded everything in place. Got all four of the tires, the hitch, everything's fully welded. The inside is not welded. I'm not gonna weld it. It could probably take a weld right there, add a little bit more structure, but I don't think it's ever gonna have enough weight to really break any of those welds anyways. So, you know, is what it is. If it does break, I'll come back and fix it. But for now, I'm just gonna put some wood on the inside and put it to use. Also a quick note, I am welding on a 100 foot, 110 volt extension cord. So not the best of circumstances, but I did watch all of this eighth inch square tube 
melt into place. So I think the welds are pretty strong. I think they're gonna hold just by my own eyesight. But like I said, if anything breaks, I'll come back and I should have 220 here in the next month. So I'll come back and actually do a nice hot pass on everything. But you know, plenty of people weld on 110 for their entire lives. So I think it'll be okay. It looked like it was hot enough to me. Let's go ahead and cut up some wood and throw some wood on the inside and maybe throw some bolts to it. Here's how it looks from the front. Nice triangulation in that hitch right there. Everything looks nice and pretty on it. All right, so it's a little rough. I had to use the chainsaw. My skill saw decided to disappear in the move, so I had to chainsaw those boards. A little rough, but uh, it's a farm trailer, so who really cares? Nice and uh, nice and dirty, as you can tell. Should have probably wore chainsaw pants to do that too, but everything's in place. I should bolt those boards down too, but uh, they move too much. I'll throw some bolts at it. If they don't, we'll uh, call it good. Let's go take it for a test drive. I don't know who let me think not putting bolts to this was a good idea, but it's not a good idea. guys that's it for that one this is four bales of hay i think realistically eight's a good number maybe 12 if really want to pretty stable nothing moving around went ahead and painted it blue to match the atv too but uh this is what it's used for really happy with how it turned out and uh we're gonna put it to work